the major interest that I have is this stereoscopic um, <laughs> side of everything. You know, I had this passion for three D yeah. stereoscopy of all kinds, it's and nice of course, to be surrounded by it here. Yeah, in here we have in. <laughs> around us all sorts of stereoscopy starting from about 1838 um, onwards and of course stereoscopy was huge in the 1850s which yeah. is the great boom and mm -hmm. that's kind of where my heart is but I apply everything that I learned from the 1850s to astro photography so you, you just all the time you see nothing there's nothing new under the sun yeah since Charles Wheatstone yeah <laughs> who discovered the principle yeah. so all you need is a baseline and yeah in astronomy, uh, and especially with all these probes that go out and yeah. get close to objects, you can normally get what you need to, to, to take an amazing stereoscopic picture of something. Uh, I, you know, well, actually, I, we have one of your books here, but uh, and, and I know a bunch of 3D books. Do you, have you produced a 3D book of astronomy, of, of, of astronomical images? Well, Mission Moon 3D the, is all about um, the Apollo 11, yeah. uh, the Apollo mm. missions and the whole space race, about the, the Russians too. So that's the closest we've come to an actual you, astronomy you did, book. I've never, I haven't seen any 3D pictures of Pluto yet. Has, is there a, oh, there is one, yeah. I was able to get it. Wow. That was my great scoop. You know, wow. I happened to be in the right place at the right time. And, oh, you haven't seen that? Okay, no. well, I'll show you. Uh, uh, but yeah, you, you just need a baseline. And this um, probe is flying um, right by, thousands of miles an hour past this object called Pluto, mm. which until now has been a white dot yeah. in the distance. And what you get is a picture from this point, and then it moves on, you get sure. a picture from the next point. And so you have your baseline. It's how, like the, how, how far a baseline, do you know? How far? It would be tens of thousands of miles. Uh -huh. Quite a bit, but it's yeah. it's a few thousand miles away. Yeah, sure, it sure. Tens, yeah, yeah. Tens yeah. Of and, probably, away. and the speed it's going, you you have to you know snap those pictures relatively quickly. Cause yeah, which is what they do. Yeah, I mean it's it's a kind of nail biting thing that New Horizons does yeah. because you, in most of these missions it's very different from most of the NASA missions, which go around things. You know, like the yeah. Rosetta mission, yeah. they go there, yeah. they get into a position next to it, and yeah. they more or less orbit these yeah. Yeah. objects. New Horizons doesn't do that. It just whizzes just straight past. So everything has to happen. Uh, everything has to happen in a few minutes. Yeah. And the the <laughs> the tension, the the drama in that is colossal. Because oh, yeah. if you mess up, there will never ever, ever be, be another, another chance. chance. And you've been waiting for yeah, decades. <laughs> yeah, for twelve years you've waited yeah. for that moment. So it's incredible to watch it unfold. And the moment when you first see that image is, is incredible.